If you want the world to change, if you want the culture to change, you have to change. We all have to change. We have to be different. We have to know our worth and who God made us to be, that he made us in his image and that we're called to be who we are. And yes, male and females are different and that's okay. He made us this way. In first service, we had a bunch of young couples in here and I'm like, the biggest mistake you can make in your marriage is thinking that both of you have to be the same. You guys aren't the same. If you were the same, one of you wouldn't be necessary. God created you individually to be who you are for your spouse and for your family. We can see now in our culture that kids need upbringing from both sides. Women have done a great job in single parenting and some men who have been put in that situation, but you can't take the place of the other person. You can only teach them what God has taught you. But we see now in our children in the way that this generation has been brought up and the things that it's doing, that you need both. And that what God set up originally is what is necessary to raise up children who are gonna be productive members of the society and who are gonna know who they are in the Lord. It's not an accident that we have so many emotional issues in our culture. It's because of the things that we've done. And so to get out of it, we have to do something different. We can't do the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. No, I think we've seen, all of us, what a culture looks like when it goes away from God. We're seeing it right now. Now it's time to see again what a culture would look like when these people came back to God. That's what he's calling each one of us to. That we would be the solid rock for a culture that is built on sinking sand. 